सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन सो दिस इज आई गेस माई फोर्टीन और फिफ्टीन वीडियो आई एम नॉट श्योर बट वी हैव कवर्ड अ लॉट ऑफ टॉपिक्स इन दिस दिस मेनी सेशन एंड आई एम नॉट गोइंग इन मॉड्यूल वाइज बिकॉज आई आई थॉट दैट वॉट एवर द कॉन्सेप्ट इफ आई डू इट इन मॉड्यूल वाइज इट वुड बी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू गाइज and i'm just doing in uh, random by taking one some, some simple simple topics and uh, and solving problems for you guys in order to make you clear so you can follow my pattern either you can follow my pattern or you can follow the syllabus pattern and check for the videos it is available in the playlist okay but i'm solving in this order those who are interested you can go with the uh, uh, what how how i'm teaching okay so till now we have discussed all the topics related to linear convolution circular convolution dft idft butterfly sequence matrix method formula method all of them we have covered okay those who have not seen all those videos it is available in my playlist so please check out and like this video guys okay then proceed further so here i have told you in one in my last session those who have already seen this and those who have not seen it you can see that video that is one simple topic related to linear convolution right in that linear convolution what i have told that is the in the question they won't be giving the length of the sequences as the same length they would be giving a different length for that we have come up with one formula that is l is equal to l1 plus l2 minus 1 in order to make the two of the sequences same right yeah now we are going to deal with one topic called as linear filtering okay this is very important i guess this is in module 3 or 4 i'm not sure but this topic and the problems related to this topic in this linear filtering we have two methods one is overlap save method and another one is overlap add method okay for those two methods also the pattern of solving problems are different but it is very easy trust me guys it is very easy if you understand the method easily you can solve these kind of problems seven marks or eight marks is confirm okay this question either overlap save or overlap add so now first let us discuss about overlap save method okay the uh, in overlap save method problem so now let's discuss one problem that is using overlap save method compute y of n of the impulse response h of n which is given as 3 2 1 to an input sequence of x of n this is the sequence huge sequence okay don't be complicated guys this sequence is just an uh, reference uh, sequence this sequence won't be coming into the picture in this pro these kind of problems at all okay i'm going to tell you how okay don't think that this is a long sequence how to solve the problem it would taking a lot of time no if you listen to me i would be telling you how this problem is solved using only eight point circular convolution they have mentioned eight point circular convolution but here in this length of the sequence is more than eight and here we have only three but here in using this formula now you would be thinking using this formula you should be do substituting and you should be making the length equal no if we do also the length won't be coming 8 it would be coming more than 8 yeah so now let's try to solve this problem here this equation would be coming into picture how i would be telling you here we should not be finding the value of l because they have already given the value of l that is l is equal to 8 okay keep that in mind Eight, they have given. We should be finding the value of the intermediate sequence L one plus L two. We should be considering the impulse response H of n, whatever they would be giving its length. Here in this case, it is one two three minus one. So eight is equal to L one plus two. Three minus one is two. So L one is equal to two. If you bring it this side, eight minus two six. So L one is equal to six. So now we got L one is equal to six. So now what is this six now? Nothing much. First, you should be considering the input sequence x one of n is equal to L one is equal to six. So now from this input sequence, we should be taking six values. That is first six values. Since we got here the L one is equal to six of an intermediate sequence, from this input sequence take the first six values. That is two, one, minus one, minus two, minus three, five. Okay. Now you would be telling you why I have left here space. I have left here space because they have mentioned 
eight point circular convolution. So whatever the length of the sequence here, it should be of eight point only, right? For that now we should be saving two values. That is, we should be adding two zeros at first. Okay, then we should be taking the six values from this input sequence. Okay, so like this, the length of the sequence is now eight, and x of x one of n we have written. Similarly, now you should be following this procedure till we get a complete z set of zero zero values. That is, set of uh, sequence of zeros. How to do it? X one of n is done. Now next, right? X two of n is equal to again the same thing. So now when we write the second sequence, what we should be doing is since the length of the sequence must be eight, and only we should be taking the next six values into the picture. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. If there are no six values, then you should be adding one zero. Okay? This is the next six values. But before that. From this sequence, right, the last two values we should be writing it first, because we are saving these two values to the next sequence. That is overlap save, right? Last two values, write it first, then write the six uh, points from the input sequence. The remaining six points, that is six minus one, two, zero, two, one. Again, we don't, we didn't get the sequence of zeros here. Again, we should be continuing for x three of n. Okay. Now, again the same thing. The length of the sequence must be eight. Intermediate sequence we don't have any values, so we should be considering the next values. That is, if we don't have any values, consider zeros. I've told you. So after one, we have we can take six zeros. Okay. But before adding that six zeros, we should be taking two values from the previous sequence. That is two one. Then Six zeros. Again, you can see that we didn't get the complete sequence of zeros. Then again, you draw or to put one sequence. Now we would be getting a sequence of zeros because we are taking two values from the previous sequence. Then again, six values from this sequence. That is, after the zeros, again we would be getting zeros only. Zero, 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 zero. So like this, you should be doing until we get the complete sequence of zeros. Okay. But this won't be taking, we won't be playing any role in this problem. Only these three sequences would be playing the role. Okay, until we get a sequence of zero, we should be writing the values. So now these three sequences, using these three sequences, now we should be solving this problem. Hope the method is clear. I've tried to explain it very well. Now nothing. Now the procedure is very simple. They have asked us to do the circular convolution. Also, we have one more uh, point to be noted. H of n is there, right? That also we should be making its length equal to eight. That is nothing much to do. Three, two, one, and if you want to make its length eight, add five zeros. Okay. Now nothing much to do. You should be find. You should be finding the values of y one of n, y two of n, y three of n. Circular convolution with H of n. Okay. Since the sequence length of the sequence is eight, so first. Y one of n is equal to x one of n. Circular convolution with H of n. Okay. Similarly, y one of n we should be finding. Then y two of n, y three of n. Then we have one more step that I am going to tell you later. First, let us find y one of n. That is the circular convolution of this and H of n. Let us find it. First sequence. Let us write this. That is zero, zero, two, one, minus one, minus two. Three, five, zero, zero, two, one, minus one, minus two, three, five, zero, zero, two, one, minus one, minus two, three, five. Why I have written only three? Because here we have only three values. The rest all of them are zeros. So I am just saving my time. Three, two, one, zero, 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 zero. Now we should be finding its answer. Right, simple matrix multiplication. That is, three into zero is zero, plus five twos are ten, plus three ones are three. So zero plus ten plus three is thirteen. Sorry, here we have a minus three. Right, it is minus three. Right, yeah. So sorry for that. Yeah. So zero zero five twos are ten. 
3 into minus minus 1 is minus 3 so 10 minus 3 is 7 so the first value is 7 then 0 plus 0 plus 5 that is 5 6 2 3 is a 6 so whenever I uh, make one uh, these two points here like this think that I am multiplying it then I am uh, telling you dictating okay whenever I point uh, any fingers between two numbers I am multiplying those two numbers okay yeah because to save time I am doing it 6 plus 0 plus 0 6 3 plus 4 2 to the 4 plus 0 that is 7 minus 3 plus 2 plus 2 Correct, right? Minus 3 plus 2 is uh, minus 1, then plus 2 is plus 1. Then we have minus 6 minus 2 plus 1, that is minus 8 plus 1, minus 7. Then we have minus 9 minus 4 minus 1, that is minus 14, 15 minus 6 minus 2, that is 15 minus 6, 9 minus 2. 7. So this is the answer which we got for y1 of n. Similarly find the answers of y2 of n and y3 of n circular convolution with h of n. Okay. Hope this is clear. Let us solve quickly now. So let us write the x2 of n sequence. Minus 3, 5, 6, 1, 2, 0, 2, 1. Minus 3, 5, 6, 1, 2, 0, 2, 1 minus 3, 5, 6, 1, 2, 0, 2, 1 into h of n that is 3, 2, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 okay let us write and keep it for the next sequence also y3 of n in order to save time Okay, that is two one followed by six zeros. Two one zero 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 zero. Two one zero 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 zero. Into 3, 2, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. These are all the simple tricks sir, to save time. Okay, you can do like this because in order to save time, draw the matrix and keep first only. Now do the matrix multiplication. 9, sorry, minus 9 plus 2 plus 2. That is minus 9 plus 4 minus 5. 15 minus 6 plus 1 15 minus 6 9 plus 1 10 18 plus 10 minus 3 25 minus 3 plus 12 plus 5 12 plus 5 17 minus 3 is 14 6 plus 2 Sorry, here we have minus 1. Sorry, this is minus 1, right? Minus 1. 6 minus 2 plus 6. That is 6 plus 6, 12 minus 2, 10. 0, 4, minus 1. That is 3. Then we have 6 plus 0 plus 2, 8. 3 plus 4 plus 0 7 okay so this is the sequence of y2 of n similarly find for y3 of n again 6 0 0 so 6 3 plus 4 7 plus 0 7 0 2 2 so that is 2 plus 2 is 4 then uh, 0 0 
1 then these all are zeros only here so 0 0 0 0 so these are the values of y1 of n y2 of n y3 of n so these are the answers of y1 of n y2 of n y3 of n i have written it in the sequences like this but the answers are not here completed we need to find in the question they have mentioned to find the final sequence y of n right so in order to find the final sequence y of n first we should be knowing the length of that sequence okay the length of that sequence you should be calculating now using the formula l is equal to l1 plus l2 minus 1 from the question now you should be finding the value of l that is l is equal to length of the input sequence which is, which is mentioned in the question that is this length of this sequence is how much 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so 12 and the length of the second sequence is the impulse re, impulse response h of n that is 3 okay that is 12 plus 3 minus 1 so l is equal to 15 minus 1 14 the length of the final sequence y of n should be 14 okay that we have found out that the final y of n sequence length should be 14 but how it should be 14 that you should be using these three values of y1 of n y2 of n y3 of n but before directly writing that we should be cancelling some of the terms that is how much ever values we have saved right till now when we write the when we were writing the sequence input sequences x1 of n x2 of n x3 of n how many values we have saved here we have added two zeros here then minus three five two one zero zero we can see that we have saved two two values right we have saved two two values so that's why from these three sequences the first two values you should be considering it as invalid you should not consider them along with that the final y3 of n sequences the all the four zeros you should be eliminating how much ever zeros are at the end not in, in not in between okay how much ever zeros are at the end those zeros you should be cancelling out okay keep it in mind okay so now write all the remaining values in a sequence that is start from 6 7 1 minus 7 minus 14 7 Next value is 25, 14, 10, 3, 8, 7, 4, 1. So, so now let us see the length of the sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is our final value of y of n. So like this we should be solving the problems of overlap save method hope this is clear to you all okay i've tried to explain it in a very neat manner hope this is clear to you all please try to understand if you have not understood watch the video again okay and still if you don't understand you can comment down your queries let we will try to uh, solve it for you guys like uh, uh, solve it so that's all guys so i am solving only this one problem because i plan to solve one more problem because uh, uh, one problem won't be sufficient many kind of problems uh, if you solve you would be clear so that problem i would be solving in the next session because uh, the video would be very lengthy that's why okay that one more problem is there of overlap save let us solve in the next session and then let us start with overlap add okay yeah so that's all guys thank you like the video guys thank you